Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story that I call the allegory of the curly fry. <laughs> uh, involving a magical neighborhood kid, uh, automobiles, um, and curly fries of course. So let me introduce you to the cast of characters and then I'll get going with the story. So in this story, we will have a remote control with which I can control my wife's car. I call this, I like to call this remote control uh, putty, a nickname for it. There's that neighborhood kid who has interesting magical quality that I'll explain later. My car, my wife's car, whoop, that's not her car, that's her fantasy car. Let's get her actual car up. How did this get in here? There's her car, Chevy Cruze. <laughs> she wants the Escalade, but that's a fantasy. I guess she was on my machine and slipped that in there as a hint of some sort. So we'll go with the Chevy Cruze as its reality, and the story is all reality. So this story starts with Polly and me sitting in my car, eating curly fries, and playing with a remote control with which we can control my wife's car. Oops, my wife's car. With this remote control, we can do anything we want with my wife's car. We can start the car, we can turn on her headlights or off. We can turn the air conditioner on or off, the heater on or off, the windshield wipers, any function that her car has, we can remote control that function. We can drive the car around the block. My wife is sitting in the car and she's hungry. She texts us that she wants some of those fries. The remote control cannot deliver fries. I can, however, have Polly deliver the fries. The magical talent that Polly has is that he can make a copy of any object. In this case, my curly fries. So Polly makes a copy of my curly fries and delivers the curly fries to Charity in her car. Now both Charity and me and Polly in my car have curly fries. Polly returns to my car and we continue eating our curly fries. Unfortunately, Polly and I finished all of our fries. And I asked him to take this empty container over to Charity's car. Now one unfortunate side effect potentially unfortunate side effect of Polly's magical ability is that the object that he delivers replaces the one that's in existence. So when he takes this empty one to Charity's car, it will replace whatever she has. She starts with this and winds up with this because Polly's copy overwrote what she had. Fortunately, I still had some fries. <laughs> so I asked Polly to put my fries in Charity's car, which has no fries. And now Charity has fries. So I have to be very careful with Polly, the use of Polly, because whenever he makes a copy, it replaces the existing object with the copy or the new copy of the object in one way or the other. Whether Polly is putting the new object, the new copied object, in a remote location or getting a copy of an object from a remote location to the current location. So whether Polly is carrying curly fries from the Porsche to the cruise or from the cruise to the Porsche, an override is going to happen. 
and none of this occurs through the remote control. In fact, it's not possible through, through the remote control that I call buddy, because the only thing the remote control can do is control the operations of the remote car. That is, turn on its headlights, start the car, use its accelerator, air conditioner, delivering of objects from one car to another is not one of the functions of either of the cars. It's something separate. 